someone is typing the message and deleting it and this person is missing so badly that i have seen this person sitting there and crying for you and now this message is not for everyone okay you if you think that this is resonating with you this is your reading otherwise it is not your reading the person i'm picking up on is very emotional and childish like you know they probably will do things very whimsically like it's like a has in a impulsive decision they probably did cut you off very impulsively it was nothing a big fight between you it was like a something very minor issue that you had a fight with and they actually did cut you they just stopped communicating with you but now after that this person is really regretting that they told you probably it's a breakup we're not gonna talk again and it's the end of the story and definitely due to it you didn't communicate with them but now this person is really really regretting because they broke up with you and they it's just to save their face um they they are just being like you know kind of holding themselves back but this person is typing message and deleting it so i'm sensing that many of you if it is resonating with you many of you will get a communication from your person very soon cards can be significant in a way somebody is buying a new card okay and also i'm seeing a rabbit i don't know how the rabbit is connected to this one you might have seen a video of a rabbit um and also flute somebody is um you might have seen a video even or somebody might be a musician um it can be connected to or you might be connecting via music it can be you love to sing song or you sing each other songs or you might be singing a song or composing song or something like that it's a very strong musical connection coming up all right um so this is something that i'm picking up and if i pick up something else i will keep on telling you so look for the signs that i'm going to tell you here 13 14 on my clock so 13 and 14 together can be a number that is for a uh, significant for you shells can be significant that i'm also feeling like you might have seen see we just very soon got some shell jewelry recently or they might have gifted you some shell jewelry or same de shell decorations that can be some significance for you um yeah so let us see and also i'm getting a vibe of a doctor so you might be a nurse or a doctor or somebody from the medical field so let us see what is this person thinking or feeling and what they're going to do and remember if you are watching me on tiktok i have only one tiktok account divine mother's guidance and that has 97k plus followers currently so if you see my video on any other tiktok account that is has that has less than 96k plus followers that 97k plus followers that is not my account i never approach anybody i never follow you even in instagram or in tiktok and offer you a reading only way to book a reading with me to offer connect me to my instagram which has no i don't follow anybody i got 3000 plus followers and um, that should be written on the screen and another way of is like it's to email me at divine mother's guidance at gmail.com everything should be written on the screen i never approach anybody i do not do video like only do video call recordings okay i do not do whatsapp calls or all those things i have to say those things because every day people are getting scammed by these people and they just complain to me all right so let us see what is this person wants to say to you this is very interesting i'm find, finding this person is very childish you know and that's the reason they can't they want to talk to you they're feeling like mm, i need to go but how how do i do this like if what if they just say that blah, 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 blah. they're very scared of you because they're seeing you as a queen of shirt like if you if i come and um, they might cut me off or something like that so let me see what is the vibe of the person all right think about your person take a deep breath and pray to your divine that we get the right guidance for this person <laughs> already there okay let us see this comes up. oh too many cards too many cards too many cards this person will message you soon many of you will get a communication from this person oh anyways bottom of the deck nine of pentacles okay i see the cards here ten of shards the hierophant seven of wands ace of cups three of shards <laughs> Ten of Wands, um, Four of Shards, the Judgment, Six of Shards, and the Moon, and bottom of the deck Nine of Pentacles. So see this: this person ended this relationship like abruptly, seriously. So there's a said in relationship is ended, is a breakup. So if you didn't have this kind of situation, this reading it was not for you. So this person literally ended the relationship with you, saying that I cannot be with you for whatever shit show going on here, and they just left you like that. But this was like, and also I would say previously also you might have this have this kind of a situation with this person. All right, uh, this person might have done this previously also ended the relationship and again came back to your life. So this is something can be um, another sign for you. 
um <laughs> roses can be important that's what is also being drawn to me um in your relationship in every relationship roses are important but in recent days roses specifically pink roses can be something that you is significant for you all right so now what i'm seeing here this person is hurting this person is so much hurting right now um also in some cases can be third party situation um third party don't have to be mom, like you know romantic partner mother father donkey monkey as i said anything can be um so this person really really hurting now they are sad i mean they took the step very impulsively but now they understand that i fucked it up completely and now this situation is burdening them they're burning inside for their own actions um also another thing this person might be uh, might have a lot of family uh, responsibilities they might have a lot of people dependent on them or a lot of work responsibilities so a lot of responsibilities of this person and also to some extent very work alcoholic person okay uh, very work alcoholic and they love to work and love to take responsibility of other people um so they are now very very um overloaded with the situation they have to do a lot of things in that they, that's in their plate and also this relationship stress is making them like oh my gosh what i do um so yeah and this break actually made them um realize that obviously this is the importance of a person only we understand when we really cut them off from like our life and we know that we are not going to see them again so this is what happening with this person now while away from you and the time they spent with you the, with the break time that you take this person realized the importance of you in their life okay so um this is there's a lot of healing going on i i'm telling you this person i'm feeling like this person is not a bad person at all this is not a toxic person so if you know that you have a toxic ex which is like you know um they have been torturing you mentally abusive this is not the person this is kind of a person quite like my husband mm. um that guy is like it this guy whoever i'm picking up they are like very impulsive at the moment they will be very angry they will be saying anything bullshit and they say i don't want to talk to you they literally don't mean half of the thing they say very childish person and their what they say during this from the space of anger really doesn't really match what they feel at their heart i think they are very scared to show up their emotions because this person doesn't want to be vulnerable to anybody they feel like showing them my emotion is a weakness okay so that's the reason this they don't want to show you how much they love you how much they care for you but they literally do that's the reason this person is hurting they said oh, i don't want to see you get lost from my life i don't want you but actually now this is something bothering them this is very hurting situation for them um so this person missing you hierophant is here the hierophant also talks about some kind of religious cultural differences it can be your person and you have a lot of cultural spirit like you know differences maybe different religion maybe different um caste um also can be some social thing they might be married you might be married whatever it is it is something or you might have children or any kind of a social situation that restricts this union okay and also can be this person very old school like a very old thoughts and processes or maybe also it can be also your energy but also higher of and talks about a very higher level spiritual connection and this person and you might be feeling like this is something a god gifted connection for me because i am picking up on this person this person is not a toxic person at all so if you know your ex is toxic sweeter this is not your reading okay got my point all right so um this is not a long term breakup i would say this if you are in a long breakup situation for quite a long time this is probably not your reading this is probably something like 3 4 months maximum i would say all right so what i'm seeing here um yeah seven of wands very defensive anyways so they want to come forward with the ace of cups they have pure love for you definitely they have pure love for you they want to come forward to offer you this ace of cup okay um like you know, look at this this dove okay or this bard whatever you call it is coming the bards are signing the previous this bard used to get the messages communication so this person wants to come forward communicate with you and offer their cup to you cup means love so they definitely want it and they want to definitely move to a better situation whatever going on at this moment all right this reading is going to be more than 10 minutes i'm not going to post longer video in tiktoks because that doesn't get um, reach to people so i will post the big like the full video in my youtube channel let's ask tarot So please see the full video in my YouTube channel. Let's ask Tarot. All right? Because TikTok, I posted long video thinking that why on YouTube if I can do it here, that doesn't show in the for you page. So that's a crap. So yeah. So um yeah. The thing is, this person wants to move to the better situation with you, and also you might be moving. This person might be moving from some locational lo location movement can be there. Um, look at this. These shorts represent the knowledge, the understanding, the thoughts. So this person while being in this. 
four of shorts condition like you're taking a break from you and contemplating that situation and understanding what's going on this knowledge they understood that you are the true love of their life okay so they want to move to a better situation with you however they are seeing you in a different way now this time it looks like this nine of cup uh, nine of pentacle energy is like the energy when somebody is independent they don't need anybody so somehow they are seeing that you are very independent you are focusing on your life you are focusing on your career you are glowing even though inside you are hurting you are not probably showing it on the social media or everywhere so this person seeing that you are glowing you are doing very good and they're not thinking do they really need me do they even have any need of me in their life at all or they just moved on that's actually making them very defensive thinking like should i go or should i not because also the moon card moon card talks about subconscious beliefs thoughts and you know um, confusion anxiety something hidden so they're feeling like it's not clear to them. It's unclear energy. So this is not clear to them. Pisces energy. All right. So they also think like, maybe I'd go there. They might not accept me. What's going to happen? Maybe they just bash me because this is very childish person. Person, And they try to always protect their you know, emotion. This person has a tendency to protect their emotion. The reason they don't show their feelings towards you is because this, people, this person is most likely avoidant. So they're scared to be hurt. Okay, the avoidance has a tendency. If I open up to somebody and be very close to them, what if they leave me? Then I'll be alone. So rather than that, I will not let anybody come too close to me. And if somebody comes too close to them, they just their you know their you know defense mechanism gets up and they just stop like you know protect themselves and run away. Okay, this is their tendency. So now this person is scared. And I should I go or should I not? Like if I go, how how she or he gonna react to me? Because they look pretty happy without me. Should I go? But again, deep inside, the judgment call is coming up. They are feeling like this is the final time to take a decision or take a right choice because otherwise I'm going to miss this person forever. Okay. So this person is conflicted within and this person is struggling within. That's the reason they are typing the message and deleting it. And also, you know what? I'm sensing that definitely there will be some movement. There will be some communication from this person. Let me take the angel cards and see what the angel card has to say about it because we still have some time here. I know I'm talking first. The reason being the time constraint. I have to say everything within the time constraint. Does it make sense? If you don't like my talking speed, that's okay. You are more than welcome to not to watch my channel. All right. All right. So let me see three, four cards, whatever comes. Bottom of the deck. Give, it, give your relationship a chance. This is a union vibe. So this relationship is worthy of giving it another chance. Okay. So give yourself or your partner another chance to work on this relationship so what comes up here healing family issues yeah the, as i said that the uh, hierophant also said that there might be some family issues which comes between you two and also healing is important I, again you know what is that coming up it is safe for you to love okay and also it is coming up pay attention to the red flags red flags and healing family issues this card is actually telling me that this person definitely have a lot of lot of healing to be done and also you okay um, both of you and you know in a journey both of us actually the partner trigger each other and show us each other's traumas it's mirror each other so if this person is triggered that is actually you actually reflecting back their trauma to them and if you get triggered in the relationship it means they are reflecting back your traumas to yourself so rather than talking about thinking because this relationship is worthy enough for waiting i would say let them do whatever they are doing Take this time to heal yourself so that when this person comes back, you can be a better version of yourself and you can give this relationship another chance in a better way. You don't get, you won't get, get triggered by all this action of this person. I know this is a process. It doesn't happen overnight like that. It takes time. It takes patience and it takes determination. So we can do this actually. So um, I think this is a, a very good collective that i'm talking to very good and happy for, i'm feeling very happy for them it's a very good vibe i'm getting for them and i'm also talking again about the shells and it is giving me the vibe the shells are protection so you are very protective you might be a very spiritual person or somebody in your family might be very spiritual and this you are very protected and guided by your ancestors so whoever this collective i'm talking to you today um i'm very happy for you and expect some communication from your person but again sweetheart it doesn't mean that all of the you who resonates with this reading will get the message. It this person's feeling right now. How you get this message is how you manifest this. Believe it. Feel it in your in your in your you know envision that you got the message. Believe in and feel it in your body and your mind and release the thought and focus on yourself. If you keep looking in the mobile and whether they're messaging me, messaging me, that is never gonna happen because that's the way you push it away. The needy energy pushes the manifestation away. 
all right so focus on yourself believe it and focus on yourself then see the magic okay take care love you